Picture perfect day in late October in Madison, Wisconsin. Big Ten cross country championships continue with the men's competition at the Zimmer Championship Course. It's 30 minutes dedicated to the world of Big Ten women's athletics. The kind of coverage you can't get just anywhere else. The Big Ten Women's Show presented by Pure Silk Wednesday nights on the Big Ten Network. Tim, we've gone past the halfway point in our race and the uh, first appearance of a couple of Penn State Nittany Lions. They've been ranked 24th this year, and, and uh, it's good to have a couple of the guys up front. There are other three. You can't quite see it along with Indiana's. There's one Indiana runner in the front here, but the rest of their team seems to be a little bit farther back, but it's okay for right now. For Penn State, number 243, Kyle Dawson. Number 248, Vince McNally. Penn State, as we said, ranked in the top 25 nationally. Nittany Lions trying to make some noise in the team competition. Here's their head coach, Beth Alford Sullivan. We've got some great low sticks in both Kyle Dawson and uh, Vince McNally, and I suspect they'll be up in the front of the race as, the, as that proceeds and, and develops through the day to, throughout the day. You know, they've been exposed to a lot that we've done on... Um, you know, as Penn State and as Penn State track and field, and, and they're hungry to, to, you know, crack into this game at a high level themselves. Those two Penn State runners are both juniors. Kyle Dawson is from Downington, Pennsylvania, and Vince McNally is a junior from Smoketown, Pennsylvania. See a couple of Indiana Hoosiers there as well. The pace is still very slow right now. They're 24-20 pace or so. And a couple of Indiana runners in the top six now. Number 166, Andy Bayer. Number 169, Ben Hubers. Of course, the Hoosiers challenge trying to break through and knock off Wisconsin as the Badgers go for their 12th straight team title. Here's what Indiana junior Ben Hubers thinks. The goal is always to get better and to be in the next higher conversation. But, um, you know, right now we're just doing our own thing. You know, we're not worried about, you know, who's ranked number what or you know, who's going to be here or there. You know, we're just, we're in this, and we're going to race for ourselves, and uh, I think the better team's going to come out on top, whether that's us or them. You know, the race will decide. Tim, how important is that for the Hoosiers to stay within themselves and do what they can do? They need to run their own race. They're still pretty young, sophomores, juniors primarily. They're gaining experience. They need to follow their strengths, and they're, they're fast. They're kickers. They, they follow the tradition of uh, the Olympians, Jim Spivey, Bob Kennedy, Terry Brom. It's a good tradition. Susie Faber Hamilton's right in front of the runners. You can notice that a lot of the runners in the first pack, some of them are kind of looking around, waiting. They're just waiting. Who is going to be the one to make the move? Well, we've seen a few Wisconsin Badgers making the move. Now, four Badgers in the picture. There you see the top six, still paced by Maverick Darling of Wisconsin. Michigan State has won the women's championship. Let's see who's going to get that men's trophy. Last five individual men's cross-country champions. Hassan Mead, the last two. And, of course, Simon Byrou, the great Wisconsin runner, won three in a row from 2003 to 2005. There's a Wisconsin runner who has now joined the front of the pack, Mohamed Ahmed. Also, Minnesota's Ben Blankenship. The pace has really gotten serious now. There's uh, No one wants to leave to, to the final kick up that hill. Mohamed Ahmed, 2009 All-American in cross-country in his first year of eligibility. He was born in Mogadishu, Somalia. He's a sophomore. He hails from St. Catharines, Ontario, and now he is pulled in front ahead of Blankenship of Minnesota and in Ahmed's Badger teammate, Elliot Krause. This is a heck of a move. He's a great track runner. He knows exactly what he's doing. They train on this course a lot. This is the place where he decided before the race he was going to move. Ahmed, the Big Ten champion in the 10,000 meters. He's a 2009 Canadian junior cross-country champion as well. They have about a kilometer to go here, and he's just flying. He's putting it out there. Can he hold on to that lead the rest of the way? Blankenship now in his rearview mirror, but Mohamed Ahmed on the urgings of the big Badger crowd. You see a lot of the fans heading toward the finish area. This is going to be a really hard gap to close for anybody, and if they're going to do it, they've got to start chipping away at that gap now. Ahmed now on the long, sweeping left-handed turn. It's Ahmed for Wisconsin, bib number 262. Blankenship number 218 from Minnesota, and then back to a couple of more Badgers well behind Blankenship after that. 
These guys are working hard. Their hearts are pumping four or five gallons a minute. By the time they're done, their heart will have moved over a half a ton of blood, believe it or not. Unbelievable. And still, fresh enough to have a pretty good kick like Ahmed is showing right now. They probably have less than 800 meters to go here. And it looks like he's not going to be headed. But with that uphill finish, you better save something for the last 200. Ahmed has looked strong over the last 500 meters. Can he hold off Blankenship and the rest for the individual title? Back down to the course, Susie Faber Hamilton. Ahmed even breaking that stride up longer now, bringing it in. You can tell he is feeling really good. He definitely benefited from that slow pace. He has to be feeling really good, but he has to be just burning inside as well. well. I would think at first, you know, you have little pinpricks of lactic acid, but now they're sledgehammers, and he's got to say, how much does he have left? Can he hold it? It's going to be a lot of willpower right here. Andrew Bayer from Indiana has moved into third place. Two Badgers in fourth and fifth, Krause and Peacock. Ahmed still with a comfortable lead as now he turns right and see that finish line but it's still in the distance still a ways to go about 400 meters or a little bit more to go right here there's a nice pack forming for what looks to be second place indiana's andrew bear the kicker of the race probably looks to be heading a looks like he has a beat on him odd med bear peacock blankenship krause the top five about 300 meters to go all uphill now they're closing in here comes Bayer. He's looking around to see who's got who's coming behind him yet. This is the place you want to look forward. Bayer has a med. Landon Peacock now focuses on his teammate in second place. But right now it's Andrew Bayer flying. He looks really good right now. It's going to be hard to beat him at any place. You can get a good look at the hill, what these guys are dealing with right at the minute. Here comes Landon Peacock. He will get second position. The crowd is going crazy. And a finish. Peacock leans and wins it. Landon Peacock edges Andrew Bayer for the individual Big Ten Men's Cross Country Championship. What a finish. And the Badgers have three in very quickly. It'll be interesting to see where four and five are. Peacock congratulating his teammate, Mohamed. Now they wait for the rest of their teammates. As Landon Peacock, the senior from Wisconsin, takes first place. And there's another bat Badger, Maverick Darling, is finished. You can just see the, the strain and the fatigue. Uh, they, they left everything out there today, didn't they? That finish is tough. You can't hide anywhere coming up that finish. Peacock's winning time, 23.40.8 seconds. Just ahead of Andrew Bayer of Indiana, 23-41.3. Here's Susie with our winner. Tell me about your strategy. Uh, I mean, we were just trying to be very technical with uh, beating Indiana. I mean, they're our main competition today. So we just wanted to, like, sit and relax for a while and really make things hurt in the last three, 2K. Where did you find that kick at the finish? Uh, it's, I'm, it's my last tra Big Ten cross country. I, I don't know, I just got in that finish and I saw it there and I'm like, I have to do this. And you know what, I am so impressed with the Wisconsin team and how you guys all ran together so tightly knit. Was that the plan? Yeah, um, working together, I mean, just the idea of synergy and working off each other, I mean, it, it helps a ton. I mean, when you get in tight races, that's what you got, you got to put everything together, all the little things like that. So working together was definitely part of our plan. Well, the plan worked again. Wisconsin wins its 12th straight men's team championship in the Big Ten Conference meet, now pacing Indiana, Minnesota, and Penn State. Individually, the Badgers, four of their runners in the top six overall, Peacock, Ahmed, Krause, Darling, and Connor. Susie standing by with winning head coach Mick Byrne. So what is it like to be the Big Ten champions? And, and how many times do you think you're going to continue doing this? <laughs> hey, we beat a, a real good Indiana team out there today. Uh, they had us uh, up against the ropes in the race. They uh, put a lot of pressure on us over the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, it came down to Indiana and us. And, and uh, yeah, it's remarkable. When you look back 12 years winning a conference, a, you know, Big Ten conference title, 
That's that's pretty amazing. So uh, it's it's great. We keep the streak alive and hopefully uh, keep everybody healthy. We've got everybody back next year except Landon, and um, we got some younger guys waiting in the side. So uh, yeah, I mean it's it's exciting. Well, the Badger tradition continues, and it may continue into the future based on Coach Burns' comments. Well, Tim, we had two great competitive races today, both men's and women's. Definitely. I'm proud to be a Badger today. It was a pressure cooker for them to win on their home course at 12 straight. In the women's side, it was an open, wide open race, and they did a fantastic job. So the Wisconsin men and the Michigan State women celebrating their team championships to an appreciative audience here in Madison. There's the women's individual winner, Emily McLeod of Michigan State. It's been a great day here in Madison. Hope you enjoyed it. For Susie Faber Hamilton and Tim Hacker, I'm Jay Wilson. Thanks for watching the Big Ten Cross Country Championships.